Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here. Been doing an unboxing, so uh, got my uh, daily mail here. As you can see, got a few packages, some customer stuff there. But also got something for myself. And I uh, wanted this, I sort of wanted it when I got it. I mean, I'm hoping this is it. I mean, this will be this will be me talking to myself if it's not what it is, like usual, and I'll just delete it. But sometimes I can't, you know. I think it's something for me, and it's not. So, Blade HQ, I think. Usually they say order fulfillment on it. So, yeah, Blade HQ, they're good and prompt, and on time. They got a lot of good stuff there. And of course, they will be having some really good stuff in the near future. Yep, that is it. Cool. Oh, sweet. That's a bigger box than I expected it to be in. So, I guess, uh, I mean, a lot of people were waiting for me to get this one. Oh, uh, guys, this one's still still up. Uh, um, you know, the Warto's not for sale, guys. The, the way it's going to go is I'm going to do five of these for, for Blade HQ. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping and I'm pretty sure they're going to sell right away. So, uh, you know, the, the, the next run will be available for a little while. And I'm thinking about a month until I can get them to Blade HQ. Because, uh, you know, the heat treat and, you know, cutting the steel out and everything. And, you know, the work is, you know, I just got the steel from uh, New Jersey Steel Baron. And, uh, yeah. So, it's going to be a little while before they're up there. So, this one, in the meantime, this one is, you know, again, like I said, to help me out with, uh, you know, funding this whole ordeal. And uh, this one's, I love this one. I, I think this one's awesome. I'm not just saying that to sell it. I absolutely love it. Titanium, carbon fiber. It's a lot lighter than the War Toad. It's a really old blade. This is one of the first, uh, not the first, but like one of the first or second batches. So this one's got some history on it, but uh, it's been reshaped to be more my liking. But guys, this one's just awesome. We've been carrying it today. You can see it cuts. But, uh, and also these two guys, um, yeah, these belong to two people that have not told me that, hey, I want it, you know, like, <laughs> the guys, if you're waiting on a toad, there's two of you, um, let me know what your address is, and I'll send it off to you. It's been done just sitting around, you know, so, I mean, they're ready to go, and they're nice. I mean, I like these two a lot, so just, just, you know, just call me up and be like, hey, man, like, you know, that's my toad, you know, so, of course, I'm gonna have to check, make sure it is really you, but, anyway, so, it's Butterco, um, Techno. Thanks, you guys. I've been waiting for this one. Uh, I decided I was going to get the Tough also, but I decided against it because, I don't know. I mean, I might get one down the road. I'd like to do a trade for one. If anybody's got one, they want to trade uh, maybe some work for it or, like, you know, you know, partial work plus some money. Just let me know. So, Spider Code Tech now. First impressions, guys. Not too heavy. Uh, Toad actually weighs a little bit more. Very similar thickness and such. <laughs> uh, I got this one uh, because the Les George is titanium with the CTX XHP steel, which is my favorite steel. Opens nicely. Feels good. Feels good. It's it's bigger than I thought. You know, it's I thought it would be like too small to even handle. This is actually perfect size. I like it smaller than the uh, toad, or uh, the toad is smaller than it. Let's see, I got here anything? Ah, uh, the comparison I wanted to do. So, albatross, about the same thickness going on there. Let's see, about the same blade length. Uh, the albatross is wider. Uh, this feels okay. The albatross feels okay in your hand. This definitely feels a little bit better. Not too much. I mean, you know, the wire clip's kind of moving around, but that's to be expected. You got the blue backspacer, which is cool. Definitely cool. Blue and uh, goes real well with the with the uh, titanium. I love that contrast there. Brighter colors with the dull colors. That just whips open nicely. Zero blade play, either way. Lockup's good. It's not pushing in. Definitely, I can definitely tell already this is going to be a winner and a knife that I like for a long time. Um, but it's like a mini Les George VCP. 
same steel. Uh, I love CTX. I love, love, love CTX. At some point, I'll be doing a run of some knife with CTX XHP. Um, I just find it's, it's relatively easy to sharpen, holds an edge really well, and gets really, really sharp, guys. I just, I think it's good stuff, so. Of course, from the factory, Spyderco, of course, always sharp. And you know how much I suck at cutting paper, so. It's not bad, I mean, it's got some nice belly to it, which uh, provides a little bit more length than, uh, than what it looks like. A lot of people don't realize that. I mean, a Warncliffe, you could have a really long Warncliffe blade. I wish I had one right here. Well, let's just say Warncliffe, Warncliffe, Warncliffe. Who's a Warncliffe here? Let's see. I got this Sniper Blade Works here. Right, not Sniper Blade Works. Yeah. Like I said, this is completely, you know, flat. You actually get more blade with a smaller blade like this that has the, the belly, because if you straighten that belly out, it's coming out to here. So, I don't know if people understand that, but, but uh, yeah, my first impressions, guys, it feels nice. It's not too heavy. Uh, it's got the wire clip. Not, not the biggest fan of wire clip, but it's never given me a problem. Um, just nice. I like it. Big hole. I'm not sure who the maker's, what the maker's name is. But it looks like he's got Wolverine hands. Come on there, nice stone wash, very nice stone wash. Got the 3D, the 3D Spider Co logo, which is cool. Like it a lot. Nice little package. It's not too small. It's a good size. Definitely a good size. It'll be like my new Sage 2. It feels nice and smooth too. No problem opening it. I'm gonna cut myself there. I can't open it from the other side. Well, yeah, not as easy though. Spider drop it. Yeah, not that it really matters, but um, one I would compare this one to is like the new Leaf Storm, and uh, you know, same, basically the same thing going on here. But you look at this, the difference in the uh, the lock bar is thicker. I never liked this thing. I had one, and I just, you know, I really wanted it, but then I just, I hated it right away. Uh, people talk about catching their finger here, and I was like, yeah, right. But I definitely did that because you want to put your hand here. This one, it's got a downward slope and almost a little bit of a groove here for ergonomics. So I don't feel like I'm riding up on that blade where this one you'd slip up there and you're gonna hit your finger on that corner for sure. I've done it. And I've talked to a lot of people that have done it. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get back to you and how much I like it. Uh, right now the uh, Boker Nano is still holding up perfectly, guys. I definitely still recommend it. Um, no problems with it yet, no issues whatsoever. And uh, Yep, thanks uh, Blade HQ for the sweet knife. So, yeah guys, I'll get back to uh, how good this is in a couple days. I'll probably be seeing it for a while, so. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one, and please, uh, you know, help me out, buy this guy. Uh, you'll love it, I guarantee it. It's fucking awesome. This thing's got awesome fit and finish. Just like, ridiculously perfect everything on it. I love it. Really nice and light. Give me a call today, guys, if you want this one. Uh, would like to get PayPal for it. Uh, right now, there is a guy who wants it. He's going to give me a money order, but I told him, you know, I need to see if I can get PayPal first, just so I can get it in my PayPal. Because usually when I get a money order, yeah, I don't. I don't really transfer it over to my PayPal, so you know that money can't go towards um, steel and stuff and like supplies online. Uh, you know, it'll go for like bills and like you know shit here and there. But you know, money's money, so whatever. But at the end of the day, it gets it's going to be his for 250. So if you want it by PayPal, I'm still willing to sell it today. So let me know. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.